What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and it looks like our new skins for season 6 of Mortal Kombat 1 will be centered around the Mortal Kombat movies. While not confirmed, we know for sure we will be getting Scorpion skin from the first Mortal Kombat movie so we're gonna run with it. Now last week we took a look at the costumes from the first Mortal Kombat movie. This week we're visiting everybody's favorite, Annihilation. I need y'all to get in the comment section and let me know which of these skins you want to see added in the next season. Drop a like on this video to help me out and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates on Mortal Kombat 1. Now let's get into it. Run, run, boy. They're coming down. When talking about these Mortal Kombat movies, I think it's pretty safe to say the first movie was definitely better than Annihilation. But when it comes to characters, Annihilation actually had a lot more to offer. And the costumes didn't look as bad as I remembered. So let's check them out and see which ones we would like to see in Mortal Kombat 1. Starting off with the characters who made minimal appearances. And we'll go ahead and kick it off with Smoke. Cyber Smoke is literally already in the game. They've been teasing y'all with this skin since the game came out. Even this season in Invasions, you can use Shang Tsung and kind of sneak around and play with him, but they won't make him available for everybody to purchase. So do we need this version of Cyber Smoke in the game? I don't think so at all. I mean, it looks fine, but it's just really Cyber Smoke. I definitely want to see Cyber Smoke though, because I want Bihan to kill him, turn him evil, bring him back to the Lin Kuei so we can actually get a good smoke, because right now he's just too weak. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is Melina. Now, Melina has had some interesting designs in these Mortal Kombat movies. Next week, we're going to talk about the newest Mortal Kombat movie, and a lot of people didn't like that one, but we'll see. But I think this one was actually really good. No crazy armor or anything. It's really just a simple outfit, but I like it. So I'm going to give it the check mark. I say, let's get this one in Mortal Kombat 1. Next one we have is another character who made a small appearance, and that is Baraka. This is kind of like his Mortal Kombat 2 look, but y'all, check out the wrist. This is where we came from. We see all of the special effects we get today. This is just like a little wrist piece he has with this thing coming out of it. This is not good. <laughs> I like the earring, though. I like the earring. They, they, uh. Let's just get Mortal Kombat 2 Baraka in there instead, because this is kind of crazy. The next one we have is a character who wasn't really fleshed out much when this movie came out it's rain and you know what rain kind of had the same design as ermac but i don't like rain's mask and the guy under him just looks like some scared dude i don't know what's going on with that but rain hasn't been showing much love in the shop at all i think he's the only ninja who was on the base roster that didn't get one of their old skins back and at this point i wouldn't be surprised if ermac got his old skin back first but i actually love this one rain has right here even more than his classic mortal kombat 3 skin i love these things on the outfit now now, Ermac's costume was very similar to Reigns, but I think Ermac has the best mask in the movie. Him and Scorpions was also good in Annihilation, but I love this look for Ermac, and I wouldn't mind if we got to see both of these come back, one for Rain and one for Ermac, because these, they came out perfect. I think we get one more look at Ermac's mask here. So good. The colors work. He doesn't look like a scared man underneath. Big win for Ermac. The next character we have in here... Sub-Zero. Y'all know I love my Sub-Zero skins, but this one, you know what? The skin isn't even bad. I hate the mask, and I always hate Sub-Zero without the mask on. Even in the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 skin we got, or the Mortal Kombat 3 skin we got for Sub-Zero, you can't put the mask on, and that really kills it for me. I don't like the scar on Sub-Zero's eye. Hated it ever since it was there in Mortal Kombat 3 just wasn't for me but i will say the movie costume looks really good i love the way everything looks from the neck up it's just really this don't make it a premium costume where we get that face and that mask is not good either so i would love to see sub zeros in here if we can have the choice of what mask to put on them and give us the Bihan ponytail and I think it'll work. Speaking of Scorpion's mask, which we touched on before, excuse the AI upscale, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I love Scorpion's skin in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. As y'all can see, with all of them that we've seen so far, I think Liu Kang's was weak, Katana's was weak, we don't even got him in here, but these skins are actually really good in Annihilation. So 
I think we shouldn't count this movie out. And I would, look at that. Come on. I think the Mortal Kombat 1 skin we're getting looks perfect. So I can excuse it if we don't get this Scorpion skin at all. But this one is another one that is top of the line. The next one we got. Oh, boy. Yikes. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. It just gets worse and worse and worse, y'all. This was terrible. As your main boss in the movie, what are we doing here? Now, we don't need Shinnok to return at all, but, but we're not even going to look at his skin. But this was terrible. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily the skin that's bad, but I just think the guy underneath it, you needed to get somebody more bulk. They probably should have got a wrestler to play him because those wrestlers were jacked up back then, but I don't know. This just was not, uh, this, this wasn't it for me. They chose the perfect guy to play Shao Kahn in the new movie that's coming out, but this was a huge hit to Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Just wasn't it. Now we got Sindel, one of the best portrayals of Sindel I think we've ever seen. I think the costume was perfect, the actor was perfect, and she was just perfect all around. And I would love to see this skin in the game because look at it, perfect. Even for what we had back then, they pulled it off and they nailed the character 100%. I saw some concepts online where some people made it, and I think this, come on y'all, it's gotta be a premium skin. We gotta get the face and everything. Sindel's got some good skins in the game already, but this one would definitely be her best. Now the next one, this is where they really messed up, y'all. Shao Kahn was bad, but I think this one might be even, no, this one is just as bad because it's Raiden. Now y'all might look at this picture and think like, what's he talking about? This Raiden is actually really good. And you're right, this Raiden was perfect. This is when the movie started. But for some reason, I don't know why, there has to be a reasonable explanation for it, but they cut his hair and had him walking around for the rest of the movie looking like this. Now, if you can make this man look like this, which is Raiden, I feel like this guy looks exactly like Raiden. You cut his hair and you turn him into this. Terrible, terrible. Just one of the many bad decisions they made with Mortal Kombat Annihilation. And in case it needed to be said before I get out of here, please keep this skin away from Mortal Kombat forever. And not only that one, Keep Shao Kahn out of here too. Thank y'all for tuning into this video. Let me know in the comment section what skins you want to see. What about the new Mortal Kombat? We'll talk about that next week. Bomb Squad, let's get to that.